Good morning, folks. When we last spoke, the incoming Northern Sunspot Group 2381 was relatively small, but it had potential. Then, a thousand nano flares later, we see unbelievable growth of the active region, and we now have an enormous sunspot. It dwarfs the other groups on the Earth facing disk. While it does not at this time have any Delta class sunspots or even a Gamma classification, I expect that to change today as a complete standstill of the spot is unlikely after such activity of the last 24 hours. The sunspots already waking up, firing an M class solar flare this morning that is just now becoming visible on the AIA feeds. Looking at the solar wind, the speed remains high along with some average density. Magnetic disruption is waning, but we are seeing some reverberation instability from the shockwave impact two days ago. You should be able to see the largest filament on the Earth-facing disk down at the bottom riding in the southern hemisphere beneath the current coronal hole. Earthquake watch? Eh, maybe. The power we saw disappear yesterday has not returned, so the earthquake activity remains low. Only activity to report is small Strombolian eruptions that actually began when the three tropical systems north of it began developing. These are powerful storms all heading along this track and up north thereafter. Western systems should hit China by tomorrow. Thus far, we're seeing no strengthening of the systems that could affect Hawaii, but we'll keep an eye on those. Top articles of the day include another stop at Pluto. While we were watching a red discovery yesterday, the experts were putting together the pieces of a major communication gaffe with New Horizons. They will take the satellite out of safe mode tomorrow, but suffice to say, there's now two interesting reasons to watch this mission. Also, with the heat waves being reported all across the world, I am forced once again to remind everyone that the largest record breakers every single day for weeks and weeks is a cold record. Thank you, Florida. We're looking at convergence lines in our top viewer locations. The top alerts tonight stick to them. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.